What's going on guys, Mike McIntyre here, back from All Things Sports, bringing you another brand new video. And today is new kit day. We're reviewing two new cycling jerseys that were sent out to me. So let's get into this brand new review. All right guys, before we get into it, you know the drill. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports, I need you to help me out in getting this channel bigger. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification, hit the like button, leave a comment. All of that stuff really does help the video out. Trying to get the channel bigger, and if you guys are interested in more great content like this, I need your support. So please take care of that, and let's get into the brand new review. All right, guys, so I was sent two new cycling jerseys from this company called Ool Active. It's O-O-L Active. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but they sell different kinds of athletic gear, and some specific cycling apparel. So they reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their products. I said, sure, why not send them out? So I asked for two new cycling jerseys. I got to choose the color. They have a few different options out there and they come in at a real budget friendly price. This is not a premium offering like Castelli or Sportful or any of these really well-known cycling brands that you pay a premium for. These are a online brand that you know, sell some cycling apparel and they come in at a really affordable price. These jerseys are like 40 or $45 Canadian. Let's get into the packaging. So they come in like these little Ziploc bags. I got the first jersey here. And again, I chose the colorway. There were a few different options. So this one is a nice white base with this sort of design pattern on it with two stripes. Uh, zipper down the front. It does have a little bit, little bit of a sort of higher neck collar, if you will, around there. And then of course you get the three pockets on the back. So you have one, two, three traditional cycling pockets and that's it. The zipper is quite thin. It does feel of decent quality and yeah, I mean, that's it. The, the jersey is not the thinnest from these first impressions, feeling it right here. There are a couple of seams. You have this sort of mesh material down the side here underneath the arm to make it a little bit more breathable, but it's not the thinnest jersey from right out of the box and it doesn't feel like it's the the stretchiest either. I mean, there's some sort of elastic, you know, feeling to it, but compared to some of my other cycling jerseys, it doesn't have that same lightness and breathable fabric material that I notice on some of the other jerseys. So we'll check that out in a second. Here's the other one. Again, the material does feel the exact same to me. It has a slightly different sleeve this time around. It's got this kind of mesh material on the sleeve rather than underneath the arms. Again, you have three pockets on the back of this jersey, so I'll show it to you. Three pockets down the back. You actually have a reflective element right here down at the bottom of the middle pocket. Mesh-like sleeves. Again, you have that higher cut neckline on it. Sleeves are the mesh material, but again, it's not the thinnest material. It does feel a little bit more like a cheaper fabric, if I'm honest. I guess at that price point, though, there's not much to complain about. I can't expect the highest quality cycling jersey. So. We'll see how this thing fits. So I'm gonna try them on. I'll tell you a little bit about the materials and I'll show you what they look like. So give me a second, I'm gonna get changed and I'll show these two cycling jerseys on. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so here's a quick look at the first jersey. First impressions are, it's not a race fit, okay? So it's, it's a little bit more of a relaxed fit. I'm wearing a normal size medium, which again is what I would normally get, but it's not a race fit. So it's a little bit more relaxed than something that is sort of designed as a more performance oriented fit. This is a little bit more relaxed. The sleeves are not the tightest, if I'm honest. I do like that they're a little bit longer than some other sort of cycling shirts that I have. So I like the length. I like the fact that they are breathable and they're mesh-like, but they're not skin tight, which some people might like, but for me, at least recently, I've definitely preferred a bit more of a race-like fit. In terms of the main part of the jersey, again, I like the collar actually. I like that the collar comes up a little bit higher. It fits well. There's a little bit of a sort of grippy element down along the elastic bottom here so that it doesn't ride up. You have your three pockets here, as I said. No issues there. It's just a little bit more about, you know, the quality of the material and the way the jersey fits. If you're interested in more of a relaxed fit and you don't want to spend a lot of money, honestly, this is a great option. Sleeves are long enough. It fits relatively well. It's relatively lightweight. Again, it's not the lightest material, if I'm honest. And I definitely prefer that real skin tight sort of sleeve fit, sort of tapered towards the waist area. And again, I'm really interested in those super light breathable fabrics. 
you're not going to get that at this price point. So that's just the reality of you know the, the the cycling industry at the moment. That's just if you're paying forty forty five dollars for a jersey, don't expect those premium materials. Don't expect that race like fit. And that's what the first jersey looks like. So. I'll throw on the second one and then we'll head out onto the bike and show you what these things actually look like when we ride. So just give me a second, we'll put on the second jersey. In terms of feel, the material feels very, very similar. There's just a noticeable difference in the way the design of the sleeves are. This is the same material as the base of the jersey and you get that kind of mesh underneath the arms. You still have three pockets at the back, but if I'm honest, this one doesn't fit as tight. It's the same size, but it actually feels even more kind of relaxed compared to the last jersey. The sleeves are relatively long, but they're not that mesh material. And again, they're not skin tight. They're not that super sort of snug, second skin-like feel that you get from the premium offerings. But again, I like the length of the sleeve. They come down long enough. I like the collar of the jersey. That's good. I just would prefer a more premium fabric and a more race-like fit, given the, the kind of cycling that I'm into nowadays. So that's pretty much it for the try-on. Let's send it out onto the road. Let's get on the bike, and we'll try these jerseys out in action and see how they actually fit. So first thing you need to know is they are not the most racy fit. And that's something that I think I've grown to like over the last little while. So. I'd prefer a tighter fit, and as you see, it just doesn't squeeze your body the same way that something of a high-end brand would, Castelli or Sportful or, you know, brands like that. I like that the sleeves are nice and long, which is good. They come down your arm a little bit more than some of my other jerseys, but you don't get the same premium fabric. It's not the lightest. It's not the most breathable. It's flexible and it's soft, but it's more of a relaxed fit and again just based off of you know my experience now with cycling and the kind of clothing that I prefer I'd rather have something that that just fit me a little bit tighter a little bit more of a race fit a little bit lighter uh, it just doesn't quite meet that criteria but that's not to say that it's it's a bad jersey it's not it's just, it comes in at a certain price point, and that's something that you need to understand when looking at these jerseys and this brand. So, yeah, let's uh, keep on riding. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's my final thoughts on the brand new Ool Active cycling jerseys. Thanks to them for sending them out. I'm really happy that I got to try on these two new jerseys. I have them both right here. The blue one, again, they're slightly different in terms of the way they're made up with the mesh being in different parts of the jersey. This one having it more underneath the arms and the blue one having the sleeves as that sort of mesh-like material. In my personal preference, obviously, I'd like a little bit more of a premium fabric with a race-like fit. But again, I understand that at this price point, you're not going to get those premium materials at $40 or $45 Canadian. In terms of fit, I would suggest going true to size because I think if you went down a size for that race like fit, it wouldn't fit you properly in certain areas. It might be a little bit too short. The sleeves would be too short. So I think you need to live with the fact that it's more of a relaxed fit and go true to size if you're interested in purchasing some of these for yourself. I think this is perfect for that new entry level cyclist that wants a cycling jersey so that they can have their items in their pockets behind their back here and have all the benefits of a cycling jersey but at a very relaxed fit and a very affordable price point. So I think it's perfect for that sort of recreational rider or a new cyclist that's just perhaps getting into the sport. For the more experienced riders that want a performance styled jersey, this is not going to fit your needs. It won't be what you're looking for. So I just want to be very honest about that. But overall, again, for the price, I think it's a perfect jersey for that beginner cyclist or that recreational rider that just wants something very easy, functional, and doesn't have to spend a lot of money. So that's it. That's my review. Thanks to the company again, Ool Active, for sending these jerseys out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mike McIntyre, all things sports time for now. Take care.